Hello, my name is Cheryl Golden. Welcome to Science and Society. This is a University We Live In component core course for the Newman Studies program. I'm very pleased to be teaching this class with Dr. Jamie Finley. Dr. Finley, as you know, is a philosopher. He'll be bringing in a philosophy component to this team taught interdisciplinary course. I'm here because I'm an historian and I'm an ancient historian. I study the history of Greece and Rome. And in that area, I like to focus on the history of science and the history of medicine. So this course in particular holds a special place for me. The other thing I would throw at you is that one of the most important time periods in all of human history is the scientific revolution. This comes along at a very important time in European history and in world history. I think you'll find that it's very influential beyond the realm of math, beyond the realm of science, and has a way of influencing a wide spectrum of human society. So that's why I'm here. Uh, you're probably here because you have to be here, and I appreciate that. But while you're here, let's just say a few words about what you're going to be doing in this class. First off, you're going to read quite a bit. Uh, you will note that the first thing we ask you to do in the, in the first week of class is to come to this, file, this folder, read your syllabus, read the materials on your semester project, and get going, right? So reading. When you get to your content folders, you'll see that we have a reading assignment each week. Please do all that reading. Sometimes it will be from a textbook. Your textbook is the McClellan and Dorn, uh, History of Science and Technology and World History. Uh, so please make sure you're reading that and the assignments will be there. Sometimes you'll also have some PDF files or some links from us asking you to read another essay or two. So please go to your content file every week. Make sure you do that reading every week. In addition to reading, you'll find videos there, videos of perhaps us talking to you about important issues in our class, or perhaps uh, videos we found from TED Talks or from other sources that we find or support, support the materials we're doing that maybe say things better than we can. So uh, please make sure that every week you go to each content folder and you complete all the readings and all the videos that you find there. You'll have other things to do. In, in addition to reading, you'll be participating. Uh, we will have weekly discussions. So there's a discussion board due every week. So please keep up on that. You'll also have a group project. This group project we think is very interesting. Uh, again, take a look at it in the, this folder and see what's going on there. So part of your first week's assignment is to find your group. We'll help you out there. Um, let's see. So lots of participation. Participation in that uh, weekly discussions and also um, you're going to be forming a group and that group will produce what we hope will be a really interesting project. Finally, evaluation. Um, we'll be evaluating you. Yep. We'll be evaluating your participation in your discussions, for sure. We'll be evaluating your group project. But we'll also be asking you to evaluate some of the work you're doing. We'll ask you to write, during the course of the semester, four critical essays. Now, these are short. Don't get too crazy on us. Um, but and you should also note there are no exams. There's no midterm and no final. So the bulk of your work is that group project but also for essays that ask you to take a look in a critical fashion at some of the work you're reading. More to come on that. The other evaluation piece is reading quizzes. You'll be asked to complete a reading quiz every other week. It's mostly to see, are you keeping up with the readings? Do you, do you understand what you're reading? And it also gives us an opportunity to see how, how effective the quizzes are and also how effectively uh, you're working on the materials. So, evaluation. You're going to do weekly discussions where you'll evaluate some topics that we put up and we'll evaluate how well you're doing that. And there will be grades associated with that. You'll have six quizzes throughout the course of the semester, one every other week or so. You'll have four critical essays to write. About one a month, give or take. And then you'll have your final project. This final project we're looking at is called Technology and Human Values. I hope you'll find it interesting. So off we go. 
feel free to contact myself, Cheryl Golden, or my partner in this class, Dr. Jamie Finley. And please feel free to keep in touch. Let us know if you have any questions whatsoever. And we look forward to working with you. Thank you.